Hey, welcome to Church Experience. Thank you so much for spending part of your weekend with us. Now's a great time to grab your pens and weeklies and head to your seats if you haven't already, because the service starts in 90 seconds. CE family, we cannot wait to see how God is going to work through today's service. When you're in the service, if you have any questions, comments, or prayer requests, go to churchexperience.tv forward slash connect or pull out your camera app and scan this QR code. Or if you've always wanted to stay connected with us, just hit the subscribe button. We really would love to hear from you and get back to you and be praying for you, CE family. Right now, we are ready to jump into today's service. Will you stand with me as we spend time worshiping Jesus, singing along to Him? has come alive, a sacrifice of praise, a city on a hill, surrender to your will, your glory on display, your glory on display, awesome in this place, Jesus you are awesome in this place, worthy to be praised, Jesus you are worthy to be praised, you will be praised. You will be praised. Your love, a force of grace, consuming every space, it's uncontainable. You're coming like a flood. Our hearts are filling up, all things are possible, all things are possible. Awesome in this place, Jesus you 
Father God, we come to you in praise, in worship. We thank you for being our rock, for being there for us. Even in our darkest moments, you are there lifting us up. And Father God, I pray you will speak to us through your word. And we know you will be with us through this week. And we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Hallelujah. Let's, can we give God a big hand clap of praise again? Come on. Hallelujah. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. Hallelujah. Let's give God a big, a big shout of praise. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy of glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We lift up your name. We magnify you. We glorify you. God, we just thank you for everyone that's in this house on today. Hallelujah. Heal, deliver, set free like only you can. We're ready for a move of God. Father, we're desperate for a word. We're hungry for a word. Speak like only you can. Move like only you can. Hallelujah. We didn't come for in any shape, form, or fashion, but to give your name glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. 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 And we bless your mighty name. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Everybody shout amen. Amen. You may be seated. Is there any first-time guests in the room? Any first-time guests in the room? Let's make some noise for our first-time guests. The first time you're a visitor, next time you're family, we want to say welcome home. Hallelujah. We have some, I believe, a guest pastor in the city. Let's give some God praise for that. Hallelujah. So glad to have you worship with us. So excited about what God is doing, not just at our church, but in the region. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, let's go to Psalms 150. I feel like preaching on my birthday. I feel like preaching. I feel like preaching. Hallelujah. Psalms 150, verses 1 through 6. It's not going to be long, but I prayerfully is strong. <laughs> Hallelujah. Psalms 150, 1 through 6. When you have it, say, I, ha I have it. Hallelujah. If you don't have it, say, wait one second. I, I hear pages turning. I hear pages turning. I'm so glad, um, even in the midst of, uh, we live in a technologically advanced culture, we still got, anybody still got paper Bibles? Uh, <laughs> It's good to have a paper Bible. It's good to have a paper Bible. It's good to have one. Psalms 150, 1 through 6. And it says, praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. 
Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with the timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with the clash of the cymbals. Praise him with the resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The title of today's message is very simple. Is I'm a praiser. I'm a praiser. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, are you a praiser? Are you, are you a praiser? Hallelujah. Are you a praiser? Uh, praise is something that we offer up to God. It's an expression uh, of our gratitude to, to God for the things uh, that he has done. Anytime someone does something nice for you, what should you say? Praise is our thank you to the Lord. Hallelujah. So every now and then, every day, we're supposed to keep, the Bible says, a thank you uh, on our lips. Uh, we're supposed to keep a, a hallelujah on our, our lips. Uh, that's what God enjoys. And just like you love a thank you when you do something nice for people, God woke us up this morning. He started us on our way. He put breath in our bodies. He put clothes on our backs. He put shoes on our feet. And what should we say? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We should keep a, a thank you on our lips. In Psalms 150, it says we're supposed to offer up the sacrifice of praise. The, a, a sacrifice of praise. Everybody say it's a sacrifice. We shouldn't have to come to service and pump and prime you to praise God. It shouldn't take a, a whole cheer section for you for to 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 to, to make you uh, want to lift your hands and give God glory for the things that He's done. If you believe that, shout Amen. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, a praise should automatically burst up outside of us. We need to keep a praise on our lips. The Bible says we're supposed to enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Come on here. And enter into the courts with praise. That means when we're coming into the sanctuary, when we're coming into the church house, we're supposed to come in with the praise. <laughs> I remember, I'm a, I'm a big sports fan. And one of the things before um, the, before the game takes place, there's a big pep rally that takes place. And you get, you get excited. You get prepared for what's about to go down. You, 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 get, you get prepared. You get excited because you, you, you already see a victory that's on the horizon. When you come into the house of God, you should come in excited, ready to shout, ready to lift your hands, ready to clap your hands, ready to move around ready to dance, and ready to give God glory. A sacrifice of praise. It's not about how you feel. It's time to shift and shake off our emotions and how we feel. This is not about how we feel. It's about who he is. He is worthy of praise despite how you may feel. We can no longer be fair weather praisers. 
Oh, I'll say that one more time. We only praise God when it's sunshiny and things are going our way. We only praise God when money is in the bank. We only praise God when everything is going fine in your life. But we should praise God even when we're going through. Oh, my. Praise God. Why you're going through. Praise God. Why you're going through. I don't feel like it, Pastor. Praise anyway. Praise anyway. Everybody say praise anyway. Praise anyway. Despite how, in spite how you may feel, in spite the doctor's diagnosis, in spite how you may be feeling, despite how you may be feeling in your spirit, what may be going on with your family, give God glory anyway. Because when you praise God, you give him a seat in your situation. Come on here. When you praise God, you give him a, a seat in your house. When you praise God, he says, the Bible says, he's enthroned in the praises of his people. That means he inhabits, he lives in praise. So many times we magnify pain, but we minify, minimize praise. Slow down, Rich, when I'm trying. Don't make your pain bigger than your provider. How many times have we been guilty of it? We only focus on our situations when God is our Savior. He's a deliverer. He's a way maker. And when you praise God, he'll step in and sit down in the midst of it. Praise, I, I, thank you for the download, God, is an attitude adjuster. <laughs> Praise is an attitude adjuster. It takes, it says, it takes, it, it, it changes your attitude from look at me to look at God. Praise beckons God to come in. It says, hey God, come on in. Come on in my situation. Come into my family. Come into my marriage. Come into, come into my heart. Come into my Come into my life. If you need God to come into your life, give God praise right there. It's, it's a sacrifice. It's the fruit of our lips. The Bible says life and death lies in the power of your tongue. So you could either be speaking a, a party or you could be speaking pain from what you release out of your mouth. There's power in what you say because it will determine what you see. So if you want your situation to change, give God a praise. Praise is a sacrifice. Next point. Praise is for God's pleasure only. Uh-oh. I say, uh-oh. Praise is for God's pleasure only. Revelation 4 and 11 says, you are worthy, O, you are worthy, our God and our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. And for you created all things, and by your will they were created and have being. Praise is for God. It's not for entertainment. Praise is not for entertainment. I'll say that one more time. Praise is not for entertainment. Praise is not for entertainment. Praise is, I'm, I'm going to say it hallelujah to, uh, until everybody, it, it resonates in everybody's spirit. Praise is not for entertainment. Praise is for encounter. 
when we come and do worship, when we come and sing songs, when we come and pray, it's not for you to see us. It's so that you can experience the spirit of God. I don't want you to see Marcus. Make me invisible, God. Let them see you and not me. It's for encounter. Hallelujah. God inhabits the praises. It makes it makes God happy. It makes God happy when we praise. I just got through reading Psalms 150 talking about how we praise. Praying, play, praising with the string instruments and organs and Oh, with timbrels and what's a tambourine, a timbrel and and dance and when you play the guitar, what Lindsay was doing and what Bob was doing, that's a called a zamar praise. Everybody say a zamar praise. So they're not just doing that just for no reason. Yeah, they sound good, but when they play, it's supposed to minister to your heart. When you praise, come on here, David offered up a, a Zamar praise and the sp a evil spirit left. When you come into the house of God, every spirit that's not like God ought to, ought to lift and shift. It ought to leave. That's why it has been an attack on praise in church. We need radical, talking about this at Bible study, not just prayer warriors, but we need radical praise warriors that will come into the atmosphere and say hallelujah, glory to God, because when you praise God, it shifts an atmosphere. You can be quiet, you can be, sit there like a bump on a log if you want to, but if you God has done anything for you. You ought to open up your mouth and give God glory. If you got breath in your body, you got to give. Back it up with scripture. If you don't praise him, I wish I had a Bible scholar, rocks will cry. And never, <laughs> hallelujah, never shall a rock do my job. Oh my. I don't want to get fired because I didn't praise. I don't want my blessings and my promises to be locked up because I did not praise. Oh man, I, I said I was gonna preach 10 minutes. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to close it. <laughs> oh, this is so good to me. Paul and Silas. Talk rich with. In Acts chapter 16, they were placed in jail. They could have whined and they could have complained about their situation. They were in, they were locked up. And it says, Paul and Silas prayed and they praised. That's a deadly combination right there. It will shift anything in your life. Some of us have just tried praying, but some of us need to get an attitude and start. God is raising up some violent praisers. So when Paul and Silas got into that situation, what did they do? They prayed, they sung, and they sung songs of the Spirit. Everybody say songs of the Spirit. And then an earthquake took place and the prisoners uh, b were loose. Oh, man, I wish I had. Oh, I moved it. Man. Loose. They were loose. They were locked up before, but then they broke free. You're getting ready to break free of some situations that had you bound. You're getting ready to break free of some habits that had you bound. You're getting ready to break free of some evil spirits. You're getting ready to break free of some, some cycle. Everybody say, you better praise. You better praise. Praise is a weapon of warfare. Praise 
is a weapon of warfare. There's seven types of praise. And one of those types of praise, I wish I had more time. Y'all come to the Bible say we'll talk more about it. It's called a Tehillah praise. And a Tehillah praise, the Bible says Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. A Tehillah praise is an unscripted praise. Okay, all right. A Tehillah praise is an is a, a, is a unrehearsed praise. Anybody ever get in your car and you just, thank you, Jesus? Okay, all right. So many times the enemy, he bombards us because we stay stuck in the same routine. That's what Paul and Silas gave. They gave a Tehillah praise. And their situation not just freed them, but it freed the prisoners around them. And it also freed, hallelujah, the people of the region. Hallelujah. Your praise is important. Praise is necessary. Praise is vital. Hallelujah. Everybody say praise is vital. As long as you have a pulse, you should have a praise. Whew. Praise, praise, praise God, praise God, praise God. It's not about entertainment. It's not about, it's about encounter. It's about an encounter. How many want a deeper encounter with God? Whew. Come on, y'all, y'all be making ready. Hallelujah. How many want a deeper, deep, you want to go deeper, you, you feel, you want to, come on, stand up, stand up, stand up. I'm a praiser. No longer will God have to fight us to praise him. So we're going to willingly surrender. Y'all come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to willingly surrender. What is praise is bragging on God. It's telling God how much you love him. It's thanking God. And one of the ways, one of the translations of praise, is, is, it's called the sacrifice of praise. It's called it's, it's interpretations of it is to praise God in a foolish way. It's called an undignified praise. <laughs> That's how David danced before the Lord. It wasn't, it wasn't for entertainment. It, I'm, I'm, pre I'm preaching the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It wasn't for entertainment. He danced to a place that people thought he was a fool. He sung his heart out to people thought he was crazy. He preached. Hallelujah. To people thought something was wrong with him. When's the last time you gave God that type of praise? Where you said, I don't care who's looking, I don't care who sees it, I don't care. This one right here is personal. The worship in spirit and in truth. That means it's intentional. It's intimate. It's beyond your feelings. It's beyond what you even want to give. It's a, <laughs> it's a sacrifice of praise. When's the last time you gave a sacrifice? Whew. Our praise culture at this church is getting ready to shift. I'm already feeling it now. Yeah, our prayer culture is too, but our praise culture is getting ready to shift hungry radical worshipers. As soon as we come into the house of God, Lizzie and them, they ain't going to have to strike a chord. You're going to come in ready. That's gonna, the altar is going to be ready. People are going to be dancing. People are going to be giving God glory. If you believe that, give God praise right there. The praise. I'm a praiser. When I say I'm a praiser. Lord, forgive us for not praising the way we should have. <laughs> Let us make a new, fresh commitment today to praise God in a strong way. Praise God on the high symbols. Make some, make some, praise him. Give God a Zamar praise on the guitar. 
Come on, y'all can turn it up a little bit more than I want to hear. Hey, come on, give God a Bob, turn it up a little bit if you can. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give God a rumble on this high symbols. Hallelujah. Now you join in and give God praise right there with the fruit of your lips. Clap your hands and shout unto God. Hallelujah. I'm a praiser. Before our usher team comes forward to receive our tithes and offerings and response cards, here's a few important things happening with our CE family. Have you ever wanted to use your gifts to enhance our worship services through serving with audio, lighting, video, photography, playing an instrument, singing, dreaming, or just creating an art for Jesus? If you're willing to invest your time and abilities, we're ready to train and connect you so we can make a difference together through CE. To get more information about how you can get involved with music or arts or one of our other ministries, check the serving scene bubble on the back of your response card. As our ushers come forward to collect our response cards and to receive our tithes and offerings, sometimes you may miss a week while being on vacation or while being sick, but we're going to continue to make an impact for Christ every week and your consistent generosity allows that to happen. By setting up online recurring giving through your bank, of your tithes and offerings, your generosity is making a big kingdom impact through your church family, even when you can't be with us. We hope to see you every Sunday this summer, and we can't wait to see what God has done in your life. Thank you for being on mission with us to help more people experience a full life in Jesus Christ.
I loved today's impacting service. You may have personally made a commitment today during the service, and if so, please reach out. Also, if you have any other questions, comments, or prayer requests, go to churchexperience.tv forward slash connect or scan the QR code on the screen. I personally love to stay connected by staying up to date on the CE social media, Instagram, Facebook, website, or app. It's been great to share another special service with our CE family today. I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Have a good one.